In this Friday Functions video, I'm going to show you an alternative to using the patch statement when you want to update list items in a SharePoint list. So I have a SharePoint list here, and you'll notice that because we're connecting this to Power BI, we actually have repeated items. So we see title repeating twice on these inventory items. And that's because in some cases, the item's going to be in one room and that same item may also be stored in another room. So this is basically a storage location. However, when people are using this app, we don't want them to have to feel like they have to put data in redundantly that doesn't apply. Basically, they will put in the item and then they will be able to go to another screen and enter the locations for that item. But we were determined to kind of keep this one list as opposed to having a parent-child relationship in this particular case, just to facilitate the maintenance of this particular app. So I wanted to show you that I have noticed on the forum that most people tend to use the uh, patch function for updating, and many people have had some problems with patching updates. So an alternative that you can use is the update if function. The update if function, as you can see that I'm using here, actually is a little bit simpler than patch in that you just have to give the data source here and then you give your condition, right? What is the condition? In my case, I want the item that was picked in the gallery title to be compared to the title in the SharePoint list. If that is true, then go ahead and update these fields. And I'm actually using the controls on this form to update these fields. And I'm not using this item at all because this is going to apply to multiple items in my list. So by default, it's just going to go ahead and update that data source wherever my condition applies. Um, and so I'll just run this and show you. So if I change this to new item description, for everything that has the laptop ASUS, you are gonna get a new description right? And so I have a change all button here, a little reminder that this applies to all laptops ASUS, and then I can just run that change, and you'll see that that changes, but also anything else with that title will change as well. So it's not the best use case, I will admit. Uh, there are much better reasons to use this function, but I think it's a very helpful function because it's uh, going to iterate without a problem through your data. Be careful with large data sources. It could be slow, um, especially if you have an extra wide SharePoint list. You know, um, when I think of wide SharePoint lists, I think of over 20 columns and or over eight lookup columns. Um, so be careful with those, but for the most part, this just works and it's really easy to do. So I hope you enjoyed that little tiny Friday Functions video. Brian and I both did one this week. So we're hoping you have a happy weekend and you'll enjoy your time in the, when you come back next week and you'll try out both of these um, Friday Functions videos. Talk to you soon. Enjoy your weekend.